Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for Richard Kane at Gromit's in Moreno Valley, California. He had a busy uh, last couple of months. He went to a few shows um, that we did not make it to, so it was nice to have him represent Medford Knife and Tool and be an ambassador for us there. Um, he sounds like he's been busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> or a one-armed man in a wallpaper contest. I know, I'm a goober. Anyway, Richard, we love him. Contact him at 951-697-6468. He's at 22500 Town Circle. His uh, suite number is 2016. Um, and again, that's in Moreno, Moreno Valley, California. You can reach him at grommetscutlery.com. And uh, these are very, very sexy knives. And then in another week or so, we're going to send him another shipment. So he's happy as a clam. Let's see what's headed his way today. All right. A single smooth criminal. So if you're looking for something very simple and standard and that won't break the bank, if you have to stay with a certain price point, tumble blade black handle, smooth criminal, a wonderful little Christmas present. Of the M48 variety, we have black handle, PVD blade, flamed hardware, PVD spring, and PVD clip. So everything blacked out with a little bit of flame. We have our new mustard yellow handles. They really showcase the tracks. I love the the, uh, the tracks on the on the handle of the M48. It just brings out the color beautifully. S35 PVD blade, black handle spring clip. So blacked out except for the handle. The next one has blue on blue. So blue hardware on a blue handle, PVD blade and clip, and PVD spring. Uh, the only tumbled M48 on the table, so this looks like it's all standard, S35 tumbled blade, standard clip and hardware, tumbled spring in a black handle. And the last M48 is, has our Hunter green handle, very rich, brilliant green color, and then everything else is blacked out, so black and green. I gotta tell you, I really like the black and green, that's beautiful. Okay, Genesis T, S35 PVD Tonto, PVD handles and, uh, handle and spring, and breaker flamed hardware, and a brushed and flamed clip, so black and flame. S35 PVD drop point, that's our normal tumbled finish, so just standard blue handles on that. Flamed hardware, and brushed flame clip. This one here, I believe, is already sold to a customer, but it's got a very cool fade on it. It has kind of a shimmering um, vertical water water ripples fade. It's got a violet to bronze fade and then it fades to a, just a solid bead blast matte finish. You see that matte finish down in the grooves and you'll notice it carry through on the perimeters. So that's just a very brilliant shimmered fade to a, a matte bronze anil. S35 Vulcan drop point. The next Genesis T, S35 Vulcan drop point with a large dragon scale sculpted handle and spring, PVD hardware, PVD clip with brushed bronze flats, and a PVD breaker. And then full size Praetorian T S35 PVD drop point blade. Again, this is our new tumbled finish. It is a little bit of bronze in there, mostly violet. Violet hardware, and a brushed and flamed clip. This one here is what I would call a very, very tight, that's not even peaks and valleys, I would call that a very tight, small, hammered, sculpted handles and, handle and spring. Bronze hardware. And the difference between what I would call hammered and peaks and valleys is that there is no distance between the sculpting, sculpted facets. They're very, very tight and sculpted right next to one another with no break at all. The only space you'll see that isn't sculpted is the spring relief. You'll notice on the inside that is where the spring relief is and they don't want to thin out the material any more than it already is. Brushed and flamed, I'm sorry, brushed and bronze clip and bronze hardware. Marauder H. Marauder H has those rectangular facets that have been machined in them. Blackout with flamed hardware. S35 PVD Tonto, brushed and flamed clip and flamed hardware with black handle spring, blade and breaker. Vulcan Tonto with tumbled handles. I know uh, Richard said this is one of his best selling fit and finish, which is tumbled handles and Vulcan blade. The flamed looks great, but I love the bronze as well. It's a nice contrast to the tumbled handles, and we have some beautiful bronze in the Vulcan blade. 
The next Marauder H is an S35 PVD Tonto faced in galaxy flamed handle. I love that two-tone uh, effect with the facing. You see it comes out more brilliantly and you can still see it down in the grooves with our new tumbling process. It's pretty clear, it's a nice clarity. And then, oh, they did just a beautiful job on the brushed and galaxy flamed clip. Some good accents on that. One of my all time favorite, uh, moon crater or dimpled sculpting. Very time consuming here. This is our most expensive sculpting that we do currently offer, S35 Vulcan Drop Point. Faced, very subtle violet, mostly silver. We have violet flamed pivots and a violet to bronze fade clip. The last one is another crater or dimpled finish. They're a little bit more snug. So I'm gonna compare the two here so that you can see. These are more snugly sculpted and he did a kind of a cool bead blast with shiny contrast. And then this has some spacing on it. This second one here, satin Tonto blade with predator jimping on the spine. Gosh, you know, I wasn't sure how that would come out and that's absolutely stunning. Just sexy as all hell. And I thought it might be too much with the dimpled sculpting on the handles, but sometimes more is more, I guess. And that is fantastic. Wow, Richard, yum, yum, yum. Very, very beautiful uh, batch of knives headed your way. I'm excited for you. It will be a very Merry Christmas for you and your customers. And everyone who's watching the videos, I'm very grateful that you are there. Keep doing the same thing you're doing right now. And until the next time, I'm out.